Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Hearts of Iron for we're using the by blood alone DLC which we're playing as everyone's favorite Pope. Well, eventually some Pope guy, but we're led by some Benito guy right now, but we're not doing a focus. Right now we are trying to abandon Ethiopia because we don't fully control it. But in the meantime, you guys can stop and hold out and don't die too much, but because we will need to withdraw from Ethiopia. The war against Ethiopia was a mistake, it's time to settle this controversial affair. Which would be kind of nice. As we'll do that immediately. And we're not doing a focus right now. It is what it is. Um, so, we are going to go ahead and withdraw. Give it a day or so, maybe. Because we do want the Abyssinian fiasco, so. Or struggle in Ethiopia. Or solid progress, so. Ethiopia accepts Italian peace offer. Our generous offer of peace has been accepted by the Abyssinians. This is far from the glorious victory we imagined in the outset of the war, but perhaps we can take comfort in the fact that the war is now over. We'll overcome the emulation like we've done so many times before, and we'll rise up ever stronger than before. A staggering learning failure. We need a change of leadership. So we can either complete the uh, Abyssinian fiasco or struggle in Ethiopia. So, lose fascism. I don't lose political power stability, so we can do the Abyssinian fiasco. Would be pretty nice to do, but we struggle in Ethiopia. Because I do want to go with convene the, We have to go with this way anyway, so. It seems like if we do that. Hmm. They, they're locked out of this side, so we should probably do struggle in Ethiopia. A staggering failure. Well, oh, and it allows us to just auto bypass. This one auto bypass. Triumph in Africa auto bypass. We're at, we don't have that much power. We're going to convene the Grand Council. We must convene the Grand Council of Fascism and discuss what we do about Mussolini. As led us for an Ethiopia and unwillingness to share power, responsibility has left many. Uh, question his capabilities as a leader. He has served his country well and is the very face of the fascism, but maybe it's a new time for a uh, change in leadership. And well, then we'll depose him too, because we need to. Time's coming to oust Mussolini from power. He has proven himself to be an incompetent leader that has dragged her beloved Italy through many unnecessary hardships and tested its resilience well past a breaking point. While a shadow might loom large over us for some time to come, Italy and its people will prevail. And we'll also do devour the Lira, maybe, or we'll undermine the Duce. Mussolini's mad desire to conquer Ethiopia has once again led us to the brink of defeat. Well, victory is still certainly possible. It must be clear this will not be Mussolini's victory, which would be good. And I'll probably do conspiracies in the shadows. Whispers in the Hall of, uh, of Power are voicing their dissent. Or dissatisfaction with Mussolini more and more. Conspiracies are woven and alliances formed between people that usually have little in common. The time of change is fast approaching as we... Oh, that's a good, good amount of political power. Uh, I'm going to convene the council, though. As we'll... Oh, you're only about Ethiopian war logistics. Please go ahead as well. Um, oh, what is this? Ministerio della Cultura Popular. That's not bad. Mm, that's not bad either, so... But we have to dispose them. Oh, I also like that they got rid of the center of the focus tree here, too. So, um, the Foreign affairs, that's not bad for more political power, too. But, if the Duce will be locked after completing this focus. Because we definitely need to go over here. So we need more support. Uh, add Shadow Mussolini. Ooh, that is not good. Because right now we get 1.26. Um, I do want more political power. We definitely need more political power. I need to get more non-aligned monarchist support. Could hold a military parade, but we're good. I'm um, just kind of looking around for everything here. We get more political power, which is nice. Um, Interest of power, Prince of Terror. Uh, as always, I do like getting a this guy. Low council influence. 135 political power is not bad. We should be able to get him after we depose Mussolini. And then really hammer home, trying to get uh, more political power, really. That would be nice, because we want this one. Vittorio Emanuele should never open the doors of Italian politics or fascism. It's time to correct this mistake and make the fascists take a backseat in government. Which would be nice. Ooh. Political power gain. That'd be nice. Oh, and also we are in a historical, so there is that as well. German right to declare war on itself. We're not going to go with this guy this campaign, but maybe some other time. Undermine the Duce. Yes. Yes, please. Um, oh, actually, what if we said no for now? We're going to do that anyways. But we'll do army primacy in the last and final instance. The war is won by putting soldiers on an enemy soil and taking the things that the enemy needs to wage war. While the Air Force and Navy are doubtless a useful organization, it's an army that will win the war. Of course. And we'll, we will always like to rush on this so we get another research slot, but that can wait. Army primacy is very good to get. I guess we can read about Italian highways as well. Now, the ancient Romans built roads that, the, that were the envy of the entire world. Now, the upstart Germans built their autobahn is far superior than anything we could build. We'll prove them wrong. Naval power projection. Follow the legacy of our ancestors. We must ensure that we have the necessary industry to develop a formidable naval force capable of maintaining Italian supremacy in the Mediterranean over any other navy. And air innovations. The war in the air has become one of the decisive fields of modern warfare. We can allow ourselves to fall behind in this crucial, crucial area. And even though I do want to do this one as well, we're not going to eventually do this one just because we are not going to stay uh, fascist for this um, Monarchia campaign. Monarchia d'Italia. Vittorio Emmanuel should never open the doors of Italian politics to fascism. It's time to correct this mistake and make the fascists take a backseat in government. 
So we just did finish this one. Then we get more political power back, which is nice. And uh, yeah, pretty good. Uh, but we do need Power of the Kings. So we need 50% more support for PNM. We could do this one, but to get to where we really want, we gotta go this way. So extraction industry. Um, that wouldn't be bad. It's 70 folks though, which is not great. At two production of oil and every fully controlled state already producing oil. Well, that's not bad, but we still need more political power. So we've done a lot of this stuff already here. Um, but maybe Ministry of Italian Africa could just give more political power, uh, perhaps? The various tribes and peoples of Africa cannot, cannot be handled like we must might do with the other subject people. Administering these areas will require a different approach. Also, we did help the Germans in their civil war. We sent uh, Giovanni Messi over. Spain is not interrupted into civil war either, which does kind of suck, but... I, seem, I have a feeling they're still probably going to explode, which is okay, but we are now not aligned. Oh, we got rid of all of our democratic influence because we took a couple stability hits, but whatever. Oh, no, we lost a guy for political power, didn't we? Shnikes. Um, that's not good. Uh, we get one a day. We get more XP gain, more daily command power gain, more stability. Uh, we need more political power. So that works. Oh, I see. Ew. Well, that's not good. Old figurehead. Well, I guess I'll go with this guy next. Oh. Uh, they're not ready yet. They're not ready yet. No. What's your restraint? That's not what we want. Democracy, huh? I should really play Italian democracy sometime, but... Ministry of Italian Africa so we can just get more political power. That's the way we're probably going to go for a while now, just because we get really, really, really use it, so... Um, yeah, PP's always nice. But Vittorio Emmanuel III has a nice mustache. It's a very nice mustache, I'll be... I want to say that. As we're trying to, you know... Oh, there they go. And let's do this one first. And... There you go. Thank you. Old figurehead. I love the political power. What happened? Almost 1936. Almost 1936. Not quite there yet. Uh, but in the meantime, construction industry, prepare for upcoming wars. It's not bad. Oh, wow. The facility and factory construction speed goes way down. Modernize the railway guns. That's pretty cool. Oh, you just get the technology for it. Armored trains. Well, that's pretty cool. Uh, but we will do power of the king. In time of great and social. Great social and political tensions. The only way to ensure that that no extremist regime, where the fascists or communists prevails in Italy, is to increase the concentration of power in the hands of the king. But surely the most suitable person in the guy country, of course. Political reforms would be nice. Privileges for the elite to provoke the lateral Lateran Treaty. Oh, also foreign affairs. Every great power needs to set clear and foreign policy goals, as well as having talented people to train and conduct diplomacy in such a way to achieve these goals. So, I think that'd be pretty decent to do. As well, how about Spain? Normal Spain. Be oh, sh never mind. We need more world tension because we're not, not aligned. Crap. Um, well, whatever. Expand the Rome flying schools. With the growing complexity of modern plans comes an increased risk of accidents if pilots are insufficiently trained. We must ensure that our flying schools keep pace with technical developments in terms of training quality. As well as keeping pace with the demand of new pilots caused by our growing military. Railway innovations. Even in the age of the automobile, a strong railway network is still the backbone of a strong economy. Further expansion of the railways in Italy will set us up for future growth. Investments in Edison. Italy boasts the very first power plant in Europe, which has always been on the forefront of technology. With an investment in Edison Company, we can ensure that we remain in the lead and uh, expand national universities. For technically advanced nations such as ours, there's always a need for more engineers. We've identified our universities as the biggest bottleneck for educating enough new experts to keep our country competitive. And now, everybody, the Balkan ambition. It's time to expand the Italian borders east to move Slovenia and more importantly the Dalmatian coast. We'll emphasize on the Venetian cultural heritage of Dalmatia and make the world see how the Venetian government was not only beneficial to the Dalmatians in the past, but also very much accepted by them. So we'll see. Albanian occupation which wouldn't be too bad. Uh, we could probably do that too, why not? Albania paints an easy target for our troops to occupy. We're unlikely to be met with much resistance. We must show the world the might of the Italy and restore the glory of the past. So, hopefully, we can get some things to do with uh, Yugoslavia here, as we are, of course, waiting for them for now. Um, I'll send like seven divisions down here, too. Just be nice and all. <laughs> be nice. Uh, we'll see. Let's see. Actually, you know what? Screw it. You guys come back all over here. Since we can't even join the war in Spain, which is in a four way war, or I guess, yeah, still a four way civil war, which sucks, but you know, whatever. Um, our trains are nice, though. Uh, get some recon. It is almost 1938 at this point, so we'll grab that as well. Uh, what else do we have here? We need, of course, some more guns, trains. That's fine. Uh, actually, are they still guaranteed by anybody here? France, these guys. That sucks. Romania. Oh, I guess... Well, the Comintern did declare war on the other Poland, and then the other Poland was guaranteed by Romania, so Romania's probably going to die here, too. Which does kind of suck. So... It is what it is. But in the meantime, uh, the whole treaty uh, for London Naval Treaty was revoked. Uh, looks like they're going to go communist as well in the UK. So we'll see. 
Uh, we also did do one other focus that was, not this one, but a bandit's war. The only ways of waging war should have died in the trenches, and they still know. Some of our old generals still believe that modern war can be won by throwing massive soldiers into the meat grinder. We know better now. Modern war is won by fast maneuvers and flexible organization, so can act quickly. We must prepare our army for this kind of war. As we're desperately trying to get to 50% uh, party popularity here. Like, it's super hard to get up to that much. And Yugoslavia requests a sales of airplanes. Which, even though we're going to go to war with them, uh, we'll probably still give them stuff. Realizing a strategic weakness, the Yugoslavian Air Force has initiated a crash program to modernize and expand its air force. So, even money reserves have been set aside to cover the purchase. A commission is traveling around Europe to look for new sources of fighters and medium bombers. Given the urgency of the issue, of course, um, the Yugoslavians have insisted on immediate delivery or transfer of planes directly from the provider. They can have bombers. As we'd send an ultimatum, Hungarian claim. Also, Austria Hungary did form, so. Demand on show. Battleship? Yes, please. Well, we have no fuel, but whatever. I accepted our demands. Defense Paul of Yugoslavia has graciously accepted our demands for occupation of Dalmatia and subsequently ceded the territory to us. They would rather appease us than stand against, stand against us, which would only help for Italy's goals in the Balkans, all according to plan. Very nice. Very good. X clause invoked. Albania, Albania occupation is nice. Yeah, Albania yields. Albania authorities agrees with our demands, and King Zog has been forced to resign from now until the end of time. Albania shall be Italian. Truly glorious day. Come on. King Zog submits, so we should be able to do this one now, too. Power to the king. Finally, it's taking us forever to get to this one, but whatever. And of course, we'll seek papal support. They deal with the growing social and political instability in a country. We need to do a lean on the Catholic Church, which has historically exerted so much influence over the Italian people. We must approach the Pope in a search of his approval and support. Agents of the Church. The Church has countless representatives throughout the world. If we succeed in getting the Vatican on our side, we could have a new agents at our disposal with a perfect cover as envoys of the Church, who will improve our intelligence networks, of course, as well, and strengthen the papacy. It's clear that the influence of the Church, or the Pope, in Italian society is really strong, and the only way to maintain national stability is to empower the Church within the Kingdom of Italy. So we definitely have to get this one first. Expand the Lateran Treaty, which would be very nice. Um, it gives more political power, more compliance growth, more daily support for underlying, which would be very, very, very nice. And we've got about three days, four days left. Utilize the black shirts. Uh, probably disband them. Yeah, minus 50% fascism. That's, that'd be good. So, and then we had to come over here and then revoke the Lateran Treaty. Oh. Yeah, I don't know about that. Or religious for the elites. Oh, I don't know. We can get more support for our line. That would have been very nice. Yeah, my bad. I should have done that one earlier, but oh well. Oh, they're going to war. Yeah, that's fine. We'll do all this stuff. Increase or support Italian irredentism. We must try to legitimize the Italian rule of our Albania. Supporting Albanian irredentism in Kosovo and the Epirus regions, and even further, will surely win a significant public support from the local population and provide us with an opportunity to further expand our sphere of influence. Uh, Regno de Albania, uh, abdication of Victoria. Oh, Prince Umberto becomes leader, an inexperienced monarch. Oh God, no! But he's an eager commander as well. Look at that. As we are going to go with like more. Good God, look at this. Um. My goal is to get we're on mobile warfare, so that is my goal to uh, just rush through with tanks and have like holy tanks. They refuse. Our attempts to solve our outstanding issues with the Yugoslavia diplomatically seem to have failed. When ambassador called on Prince Paul for another round of negotiations, we was brusquely told that the Yugoslavians had made their position clear and that there were no few other things to discuss. I'm not pushing for the finale; they chose chosen Edward's fate. Guaranteed by France. Well, we'll see. And Romania. Which does suck. I would like to go to war with them, but, you know, we can wait. Because these guys, UK is going communist? They're pretty freaking communist right now. But we'll see. And then these guys... Oh, the Soviet War in France. Ew. Surprised they haven't had a civil war themselves, but... Agents of the church. And then... Condemn fascism. Expand the treaty. I think this is one way to do. Condemn fascism would be nice to do as well. Oh, move it towards more towards his holiness, which would be a very nice thing to do overall. So now we need more holiness support. We are currently at this more political power, less war support, offensive, war penalty stability modifier minus ten percent, more political power costs. Oh God, no. Uh, recon stuff is not bad though. Mm, 1938. Gonna grab this one too because you can. Uh, I'll grab that because we'll definitely need it. So then we'll strengthen the Pope too. I'll get some liturgical reforms next. 
Obviously, this is not the most optimal way of doing this. There are other ways to probably get it a little bit faster, but actually, there are. I know for a fact there are ways to get things like this even faster and faster and faster. But oh well, not for this campaign. It's all right. Tell you, Radentia. Also, I did disband the regulars because I didn't want to do that. Reorganize them. Eh. China will declare war on China. Still waiting for that 40% to spawn. Uh, having Romania fall to these guys is a bad idea, but... Oh! Okay, well, not later that. We're not, still not allowed to send volunteers. Are you freaking kidding me, bro? Still guaranteed, and they'll probably be guaranteed for a while. Agents of the Church, strengthen the papacy. You bet we will strengthen the papacy. Um, anything else we can do here? Not really. Which does kind of suck, so... We'll strengthen them and disband the Black Church. The Black Church is a very dangerous organization that serves the fascism. So it's time for them to disappear as the fascist regime did. We'll disband all active units. Expand the Royal Guard. We'll strengthen and expand the Royal Guard Corps in order to have reliable troops loyal to the Italian monarchy and capable of performing different roles in any kind of military operation should the need arise. We did Italy first as well. Our glorious duty will never play second fiddle to, to that Hitler guy. We must see the lessons of the Roman Empire. Teutonic uh, interference in Italian affairs never ends well. We also did Italian tankettes. While the countries might develop ever larger and heavier tanks in search of some super tank that will render all other tanks obsolete, we know that the best tank is a tank that is actually on the field. A tank must be fast enough to go wherever needed in time, and only needs armor heavy enough to withstand rifles. Such a vehicle will be cheap and quick to produce, and setting course. The kingdom of Italy is ready to fulfill its destiny. Greatness and glory awaits the pride of town people. It's time to decide how to move forward. Now, it, this is not the most optimal way, like I said earlier. Like, I will, honestly, um, I'm going to basically be replaying this in the future, uh, between this episode and the next, to get it a little bit more mainstream, a little bit faster overall, uh, so that we can do this more correctly because this is just taking too much time but um i did want to show you how we should be able to get it because you need to be able to do the whole latin reforms as well again down here which would be really nice you guys are by themselves that's fine we're not going to go to italy. Uh, italy we are italy um you can for now so you guys come back here too uh do that too so that's fine for now so i, I like i said i'm going to redo this off screen but i wanted to show you like my first this is literally my first attempt altogether. so we just wait for the latin reforms and then we can get the, the Pope guy, and then uh, we'll go from there. Um, so it's going to take a little bit more time than I would have liked, but paramilitary training. It's time to expand a volunteer militia organization to improve the military education. We'll use distinguished officers from the elite divisions to train new recruits in elite black shirt units. Extraction industry course. I think I read this earlier, but we must expand our resources, uh, our resource extraction industry to meet the demands for production lines. We can uh, allow the lack of raw materials to jeopardize military production. Uh, Abelian oil. It's time to replace our obsolete equipment used for the old oil concession. An Albanian turned to a strong oil extraction industry that would now have full control of the country, Italian Irredentism. Italian Irredentism has become increasingly aggressive after the Great War, thanks to our fascist regime, of course. It's time for Italy to reach its natural borders and unify all the territories that rightfully belong to the Italian people. Which is very true, so we're just gonna wait for this one over here. Uh oh, the death of Pope! A new Pope shall be made! Oh no. Pope Pio Pio the Eleventh has passed away after leading the Catholic Church for almost twenty years. During his turn as a pontifex, Maximus Pio XI ended the long breach between the papacy and the Italian government and was crucial in establishing the Vatican as an independent state once again. A new pope shall be made. Oh boy, who's going to be pope? So, we'll see. Go and get coronate this guy. Colonial management, like I said earlier. Not too much else here, but this is just one of the very long ways you can probably get the pope. pope's ascendancy. With the power of the papacy exceeding that of the Italian monarchy, many ardent supporters of the Catholic Church of Conde today have come out to demand the pope take up the leadership of the country. It is already accepted the role put up forth by the people and declared that what is happening today is indeed the will of God himself. There's not much the monarchy can do to stop him. God wills it. So we had to wait for this one because we had to get all the way over here with papal dominance, which took forever to get. But God wills it. So can we in the ec ecumenical council? A council? Yeah. Hey, look at this. Pope Pio the Twelfth. He's a supreme pontiff, which is really nice. Grandmaster of the Equestrian Order. Um, Equestrian Order. What is this? Question War? Uh, the Holy Sepulchre of Jerusalem, which hurts our political power, but he gave more cavalry attack, which is kind of interesting. Um, to see, but, you know, it is what it is. More organization, maximum power command increase, which is not bad. I and mean, we could do this one as well. Because from here, even more political power. Generate war, tension, goal, limit the territory of the country. So, we do that one too, because we can. But that took 90 days. But, I think I'm going to end it there, just because I want to redo this one. Just so we can get it a little bit faster than 1939. But, the Pope Papa Pio XII has shocked the world leaders by deposing King Vittorio Emmanuel III of the Kingdom of Italy and assuming power for himself, claiming that God wills it. Well, many Italians are shocked as well as the Pope has wide support in the country and are some hailing the sudden shift in government as the beginning of a new and glorious era of the Kingdom of Italy. Certainly unexpected, but, like I said, I'm going to redo this and so we can make it a little bit faster and we can do a little bit more than get way until 1939. But, so a lot of this will be probably changed in the next episode. But, oh well. If you enjoyed it though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow as we'll see what else we can do with 
Mr. Pope with the Papacy Reborn. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great, great rest of your day.